probably take and take it last. Um, I said something about this morning. I had to run, shoot, do the grass, eat. I, I didn't record it because I was under a massive time stamp. Um, this says it was awesome. Lots of sunshine and stuff. Of course, I was working. Um, as you would have seen from yesterday's video, I had to time lapse it, or otherwise, unless you guys. I still got all your audio and everything. So, I'll make a bonus video some point this coming week, either Monday or Tuesday stuff, I, I would suspect, and I'll just sit all down and stuff, so it's just all the driving footage and everything, all raw audio and everything for what I said, rather than to use a free release and time lapse one. Um, in terms of how, of how long the video is, I don't know. I used my phone and recorded the stream in effort and a bit of myself, best I could. Um, the reason why I did through my phone rather than phobia yes, is that way you could have heard me talking, seen the track, and everything I could, just, could see. Um, but also some of the track audio. Um, don't know how well it will all pick up, but that'll be coming out later on in the week. Today I've got I'm going to do some more cleaning. Um, I've got a few things I want to move about the place, uh, a few things I need to re rehome. Um, I got a question from someone, I think. I don't know if it was a comment or a question, but when I start do shift startups, it can be to the paperwork. Answer that is yes and no. I'll quickly show you again. I think I think someone asked about this. I can't remember. Um, so here it says at the top, uh, driver and vehicle logbook. So. Here, my shift starts and shift ends and all the vehicle, vehicles I was in. I was in the peak temporarily for an uh, oversized run because my Volvo wouldn't have been able to handle the weight. The trailer and everything was fine, it was just the weight which was the problem. My Volvo can only take, I think maximum it can take is 80. 2,000 pounds, which is about 42 ton. Um, I officially started this Friday the 1st of May 2020. I did my last recording. Uh, hang on. No, I haven't. When did I first start? Sorry. Um, sorry, 20, Sunday the 26th of April. Um... And we've done it in kilometres. I sorted it off in miles, but I've put it through kilometres so it's easier for me to work out uh, lifetime records, what we call lifetime records. Um, obviously, again, it's up to you whether you do it in kilometres or miles. I find it easier doing it all in kilometres, but it's what I've grown up knowing. So, Friday 1st of May, I was in the Volvo there now. Uh, which is an automatic. Um, it's all, all the Volvo's are automatic, apart from two of them, which are manual. And I can't remember which ones they are, but neither of them are mine. Um, so I started off with 20,700 miles, which equals up to 333 kilometres. And I finished on 36,991. And then Wednesday, the 6th of May, um, again, I was in the Volvo, uh, started on 360, 
best six hours in Nothing Flags 1 and so on. The reason why I tend to do it is so then I know for maintenance and then at the back I've got my pre-trip inspections so I've got the make, headlights, tail lights, side lights, blinkers or indicators and beacons or cab lights my particular Volvo doesn't have beacons. It's, got, it's a cab light instead. Um, so that's for the tractor unit or semi unit, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> right, I can only remember that. I've got a different trailer to what I thought I'd had. As in next week, um, we're off to Burns. Um, I'll, I'll explain about that later. Um, I'll be mainly on skelly work, or skeleton work, container work, if you want to call it. Um, and flatbed work primarily. There's two catches in the work. First catch is the site we're delivering to all week is not open at weekends. 
catch number two, we find Night Survivor, which is in the residential street. So, what we have to do is we can sit between 7 and 7 a.m. 7 p.m., so it's 12 hours, Monday through Friday. Um, we have had to deliver on Saturdays before, uh, and they will do it. <coughs> but we can only deliver between 8 and 4. Uh, between, sorry, between, between 10 and 4. And yeah, it, it can be a bit tighter to deliver and stuff, but like, I, I, like, I don't mind working the hours I'm working. And I think I ran too long about this yesterday. You don't want to be stuck in the job doing the hours, long hours and stuff, in the job you don't want to do. I, I mean, I'm happy, but thankfully my other half is understanding on this one. I want to eventually have my own company. Look at like work the hours I want, do jobs that I, I want to do. Like there's so much I enjoy doing, and one of them is helping other people out. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, plan for this afternoon is I'm going to grab some lunch. I don't have a clue yet what I'm doing. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a run sheet. And what this is, before I forget. Trailer. Load. Load reference. That is the most important thing. If you get the load reference run, you can put it through. Or, I, I could just throw it in other words. It's a family friendly channel. Or oh, I'm not going to repeat it. Bend the route. So, in my case, something like Seattle to Bellingham, or Sandra Drew for me. Um, then, company POS, so Port Seattle, to Zenent, which is one of the construction companies. I've got a different company, real company mod on now. So, you see stuff like Costco, 7 uh, Eleven, um, Visa Homes, Walmart. Um, Chevron, I think. Um, just, but it, it gives you real life companies. I mean, I didn't even know that it was across the globe in the UK until about three months ago. I never even knew it existed. The only, re the only way I heard about it was through another YouTuber family called uh, Vassell Binham or uh, THWB. Okay. Yeah, so we'll be on Scully's. I made it home last night, as you probably would have seen in terms of driving footage or heard. Um, I made it home, I finished over an hour, over two hours later than what we had banked on. We thought I'd be finished by four o'clock, it was just after seven before I'd finished. Um, yeah, so it was a full day yesterday. Yesterday was... The driving part, I don't mind. I, I enjoy driving. Um, the problem I had yesterday was the waiting about for about a dozillion years for roads. That was the main problem we were facing. 
Let me give you an example. The run I was on yesterday, um, I think I was, I waited about three bit, bit hours. They told me to be there for seven, which I was. It was. Sorry, they told me to be there for nine. I was there for, I, I was running late the whole end of the way. I was running quite far behind because, um, as you have been told yesterday, um, I tried gold starting the uh, Volvo up and it refused to start. We got through two entire cans and we're not talking small cans, we're talking daddy size scans of go-go juice and it still would not start and so we had to put a block heater to it and let it heat up for about an hour and then it when it finally started it was half past nine thankfully the collection was only around the corner from where I'd parked up so as soon as I was there. I, as soon as I was moving, I ran them and said, "Look, I'm running late because my trip wouldn't start." Yeah, it's fine, no problem at all. But luckily, I thought the feet were off before, and they said there might be a bit of a delay because there's been issues at their end as well. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. We gave me a call back ten minutes later saying, oh, "We don't know how long you're going to be waiting," because um, there's a problem if you have a truck from their end. So I said, look, well, I'll give them a call. And I'll say, look, I'll come over to them directly and I'll get the load directly. So like, yeah, okay, okay. Right over there. So look, like, I've been sent by another company, by the other company involved to get this load. Uh, which is the Palex for Costco, from Walmart. Now you'd have seen me pulling in and everything. That was after a three hour wait. Okay, for this load. Okay. Hence why I went to need them and stuff. Originally, it would be about an hour wait. It was a three hour wait total. Um, luckily, some of the other drivers in front of me thought, had said to me, How long is this I said, About an hour and a half. said, Look. You guys, you go in front of us because you'll end up running out of hours before we do. So, um, when I eventually got in, I, I deliberately took my truck in idle because I did not want a repeat of what had already happened. So, I, I kept my truck in idle. I know you shouldn't, but... In my situation, I had to because I needed to keep the air up as well because I can't stop the truck without having some air in it. So we had a... So... And it only took us 20 minutes. Well, no, it took us about an hour to get loaded. By the time we were loaded and gone, it was 11 o'clock. I had just over 40 minutes of drive time before I had to have a break. Problem being, the nearest services were, were an hour and 10 minutes away. And that was doing 50 mile an hour. And I didn't hear anything of CB about a road closure. About a lane closure, as you would have seen in that footage. Thankfully, PD caught wind of the problem and warned the DOT that some of our hours would be a bit skew with because there was a burst water main causing chaos. So, yeah, that was interesting as you would have seen. So, I had to go, I went round the block, came back, stuff, so yeah. Anyway. I've been rambling off. I don't know how I... Right, guys. I don't know how I can see it. I've... My mother's 
uh, trimmed up my hair a bit because I was getting too warm with the amount I had on and it was a bit of a pain. So it's just a quick tidy up job. Um, I'll put the hoover just, just emptied. Um, I've got a couple of pounds of coke in the fridge downstairs so then I can um, bring that back up in the, about an hour and get the uh, cupboard cold down. Um, found a splinter in my yeah, okay. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've, I've just literally jumped in and out of the shower and just get all the hair out. Um, what I'm going to do quickly is sort out the shaver shelf. Um, this shelf here, rather rapidly, mm, possibly, <laughs> no not really, um, I've sorry, got a few bits away under there, I've, I've been doing a lot of cleaning off camera because I've had to move a lot of stuff back and forth and I, my phone was just about dead, so I didn't want to, uh, I need, and I was waiting for a phone call which still hasn't came through yet. So that's just a quick update, it's getting there. I'm trying to keep you guys up for the time lapse. I need to hunt for audio library for a song I really want to put in my videos, but I am having absolutely no luck for finding it. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys the song I'm looking for as well, because you guys are supposed to help me out here. Right, for those of you who follow another channel called Shop of the E, Jaegers, Jaegers. I'll put a link up here somewhere um, to get the video. Um, keep a listen out to your background music primarily. Um, there's a song, I've, I've asked them, they can't remember. Um, there's a song which starts with some drum beats and then some whistling starts happening. I think it's calm slash happy music. Um, so I'm gonna go through audio library quickly through all calm happy music, see if I can find it. If I can find it, I'll download it. Um, but I'll let you guys know if I find it. Um, also, other thing, very important to pay attention to, if for whatever reason my videos aren't up by 10, yeah, UK time, so I'm not. 3 pm US time, depending on where you are. Um, check, go to my channel, check my community tab, slash Facebook. Slash Insta. Um, if I can, I'll get messages out to all of you guys to say that she uploads late for whatever reason. Last night, I know it was up incredibly late. The Wi Fi was being more, more slow than being stuck behind a track for doing five miles an hour. Okay. Um, <coughs> I'm going to give in here a quick hoover. Well, um, but also I was having editing problems with the stuff downloading. Don't know what caused it, but I managed to fix it. But I have no idea how. So yeah, I know I am fully aware you guys might see me at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and get some work on the camper done um, off camera tonight. Um, and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I got called out yesterday morning. I didn't bother to mention it that way. I got called out yesterday morning, about three in the morning, in game time on an American Truck Sim for a recovery job. 
good off your gut in the team. Um, and his trailer has got himself so stuck that not even the rotators could get to it. So with the uh, almighty beast of a semi I had, I came out and I thought, God, right. um, and pulled it out. Um, it took about four hours, so I would say. So it was about nine o'clock. Well, it was about nine o'clock before I was back at the yard. Um, oh, you took most of the tank to do them. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I mean, get on with what I'm doing. Um, I've been ra rambling on for too long. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Uh, Monday, be prepared, there will be several videos out Monday. Um, hopefully, including a live stream. Um, possibly, sorry. If I'm off on Wednesday, if I'm... If I can finish it a reasonable hour, I'll try and do a quick live stream. Um, but again, keep an eye out on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I say that again. Keep an eye out on Facebook and Instagram for live updates of what I am doing because it could change because I'm on call all week as well. So I could get called out anytime from Monday onwards. Um, so please do bear with me if there are instances ongoing, I will try and let you know. I'll talk to you guys in a bit.